Did Scientology destroy the ground under the sidewalk with its water tech during the occupation? Our investigative journalist, Henry, will get to the bottom of this question today. It is June 3rd, after midnight, and the water has been spraying out of the sprinklers for hours. Scientology was of the opinion that this action would put the encampment under water and thus put an end to it. They let the water run for about 24 hours, even though there is a very clear water restriction in California. Everyone is only allowed to water the green area three times a week, and only at a certain time and duration, not for 24 hours. Henry documented this, and he calculated how much water was wasted by Scientology. Going off of 12 sprinklers, each one consuming a, having a flow rate consumption of two gallons per minute. That's about, in over an hour, that's about 1440 gallons per hour. Therefore, with 12 of them, you consume about 1440 gallons per, of water per hour. You get about 8,000 gallons per hour. On Monday, Henry was at a neighborhood council meeting with some other protesters and reported on this waste. In California, I come to you from the complete opposite end of America, all the way on upstate New York. My background is as an industrial engineer and I've overseen several construction site projects. I have implemented various complex software systems. And I'd like to say that I know they are about construction. In the time that I've been here, I have witnessed the Church of Scientology recklessly waste hundreds of thousands of gallons of water. DPW, while contacted by many, and this went on for 21 hours, was not seen at site to address the reckless waste of water. California has a major drought crisis, and the fact that they can waste over two swimming pool uh, amounts of water is an absolute disgrace. That should call the principal engineer's uh, professional engineer license into consideration to be revoked and they're agreed to revoke. I know I wouldn't be able to practice as an engineer today if I was able to allow uh, to be, uh, get away with such reckless abandonment. Henry explains in detail why the planter's weight is a problem for the sidewalk and especially for the easement. Scientology's water tech campaign has made things much worse. Basically, I did some math on the size of the planters and I put some estimates on how much weight each of those actually carries. Okay. In total, right now, you're sitting at about slightly over 4,000 pounds on just the easement. And the problem is that easement already had issues with the foundation. So add on the thousands of gallons they were flooding the sidewalk with, add on now the thousands of pounds sitting on a broken foundation, and you can actually see for yourself. Three by three by three for a volume. So that's 27 cubic feet, X 150 pounds. So all that comes out to about 4,000 pounds just sitting on this. This whole area is just constantly having a weight of 4,000 pounds nation. And you can actually see for yourself how much the uh, concrete blocks have shifted as a result. You can see the paint. You can literally see the paint from when they were last sprayed for marking the fire lane. And then you can see it's about that much that the blocks have shifted from the weight, from the water. And that's a lot to shift in just a short period of time. That's not normal. These are, yes, I was live streaming the whole thing, showed people, and it's a lot. Imagine you're just walking and out of nowhere the sidewalk shifts about almost half an inch for you, just out of nowhere. That's very dangerous. So that's what Scientology does, breaks sidewalks and endangers people's lives. And Audit LA was rightfully sharing that for somebody that has ADA requirements and disabilities to travel through here is a fucking nightmare. Right. Like, seriously, just, you can't. So each one has 4,000 pounds? Each, each one carries a slightly, um, about each maybe 1,300 right? to 1,600 pounds of weight. And so you add that by three, and that's roughly how you get to a little over uh, 4,000 pounds, like 4,100 or so. So they needed like three of those bags. For yeah, they, they need a lot. Of, yeah. yeah. They need a lot. Yeah, I did see them pouring that kind of. Let's take a closer look and see how much the plates have moved on the easement. On the side, it's even worse because you have 
this also now, the little, I guess, bump stop, I guess you can call it, also shifting where this is developing a bird's beak skewing up and in. So it's going out, it's going up and in. And then it's pushing this one out. All that pressure and all that weight at this line right here that normally would be mated to this surface here. And you can tell because of where it's been painted that it has shifted, right? So the red, you can tell this is how much it's shifted. That's a fuck load. This coloration here was something that was not visible before. This red was something that was visible before. Meaning, before this whole fiasco, only this part was visible, and this is how much has shifted. I would say, look at that. So if we clear out all the dirt, that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. If I put my finger next to it, I'd probably say, this tip of my finger is about how much that's shifted. That's a big fucking distance to shift in such a short time. And then add on to that thousands of pounds of all this weight and it's seesawing. This entire part of the sidewalk is just seesawing it up. And it's gonna keep doing it up and up and up and up until then what's gonna happen is you're gonna start developing cracks here. This same block is gonna start developing stress fractures here, all right? This is also being pushed inward more so than normal. Hey, hey, how are you? Serge and Michael have come by, and Serge is talking to Henry about the man who told us the day before yesterday that Scientology pays LA parking enforcement to avoid getting tickets for parking in the red zone. I'll show more about that in a minute. So this is how much has shifted. That's quite a bit in such a short time. That's a lot. That's such a good point about the pain. And you have now about 4,000 pounds acting as a seesaw, moving all of this way, way up one way that it shouldn't be. Weird as planters with fake plants. Yeah. Fake plants. And then so weird. started putting this as it started getting exposed. What the fuck is this dirt coming from? I mean. The one guy who I spoke with last night, he works construction for Scientology, and he was telling me. The dirt I, here I is is specifically well, from a construction. And, and He's literally gone. His truck is gone. All in Scientology. Fucking slap. gone. Fucking that gone. Flapped. The fact that he spoke to you, the fact that he exposed them that yeah. way, you know, and like you said, I'm glad that you didn't show his face because it wasn't. Yeah. You saw it. He's not. I mean, these people are just. He's clueless. Like he's just. Yeah. Totally. Totally. But. You know, the people that are the managers aren't clueless and, you know, they're right. pissed as fuck that they're getting exposed. Like On LRH Way, just by, just past the advanced uh, org door there, there is that little, uh, not, past the Continental Liaison, there's a little, another parkway and we literally saw a huge dirt mound of construction dirt and gravel and rocks. Who casually has like a big ass mound of construction dirt just chilling in their fucking parking lot in the middle of the night? The night before, Henry told Chris about his conversation with the owner of the Toyota truck. The main piece of information was that Scientology ensures that the owner of the truck does not get a ticket or have his vehicle towed. The owner of the truck told Henry that he works for Scientology as a landscaper on various properties. They also talked about the dirt in the planters and about his parking situation. Parking tickets are expensive and even more so if you get towed. The city is merciless as we can see with Chris and his Free the Cars campaign. Oh, how do you guys get the dirt in here? Where do you get it from? So the dirt comes from a construction site and he fills it into the planters. Interesting. He also says that this is not soil for planting because it's dead and plants can't live in it. When you were filling these up, did they give you the dirt or did you have to buy it? Uh oh, no, no, I, this is the non, I think this is the, the construction taken up for money. Ah, so it's coming from a construction site, you're saying? Yeah, I And do. they're then dumping on it here, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got gotcha. you. I know, like that, last time my truck is broke, the clutch. 
a snake here. Is it a four? Uh, four no, speed? Uh, four? four speed, yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, coming, the, the people that are here in the round, the church say that somebody will put a ticket in the, the low line. Okay. Uh, uh, three months ago, all the towing, all, all the towing for the, the take the truck, the, uh, I know moved that for three days. Mm -hmm. These people come. I, I said that Corina, uh, I know I talked to Corina, I call, Corina called me every day. Corina, time. yeah. See, Corina, she called me. Um, uh, I said, uh, what happened? Uh, I worked hard too much. Yeah, yeah. I worked too much. I don't have time for the, to move every, yeah, every yeah. day. For this, I live for 14 years here. I need to please no call the ticket party for give up one ticket. One ticket, one ticket, one ticket. No, no good. Yeah, because they will tell it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I need to. Did they give you a permit at least to park? Oh, oh, did did oh, these guys oh, give you a permit? Oh, oh, oh no, this is I have, this is I, I need to talk to Corina. Yeah, because she should give you a permit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but that, this is commercial. I pay for extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This commercial truck is 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 a Santiago Park in the yellow line. Unfortunately, he is difficult to understand, so I'll let Henry tell you what he said himself. There's a Toyota truck that's been parked on the loading only area for days. Right here, the black one? With, the, yes, black yeah. truck. I actually saw the gentleman who owned the truck, mm -hmm. and I talked to him and I asked him about why the truck is down. He told me a lot of information, but specifically, he mentioned that he was having issues with getting all sorts of tickets because people were calling in since he was illegally parked and he talked to three different names inside Scientology because he does construction mm -hmm. and landscaping work here yeah. and he explicitly said after he ta talked to some Scientologists on the inside they told him don't worry about it we'll go ahead and contact parking enforcement so that they stop ticketing you even like what the hell car. And so that is an explicit direct link from somebody that works here that these guys are paying off parking enforcement. And the truck hasn't been seen since yesterday. Coincidence? Or was it taken away because the man was talking too much? I think that's more likely. Scientology has about 400 parking spaces around the blue building. The parking garage with at least two floors. In front of the Continental Liaison Office. Between the apartment buildings. Behind the American St. Hill Organization. The large parking lot on Sunset Boulevard. At Catalina Streets where the cement bags are being stored. I must have forgotten a few. I think this is about 400 parking spaces. The fact that they have so many parking spaces means that no Scientology car has to be parked on the side of the road, but they do it anyway. But then, when they don't even get a ticket, it's a shameless thing to do. When will the neighbors wake up and see what's happening in front of their eyes? Maybe they don't know it either. Henry had another funny idea to annoy Scientology. If they don't allow cars to be parked on L. Ron Hubbard Way, then at least scooters should be parked there. I'm sure Scooter Guy would love it if his scooter could park there. We should ask him next time. Or better not. It could be dangerous. He's unpredictable and can lie like hell. Yeah, this is the best idea ever. I am deploying scooter tech all up and down LRHOA. So all the lime scooters, I'm just gonna keep fucking adding one after another all the way down a public street. Oh, they they hate having those here because I think when they barely came out, I think like auto will move them. Hell yeah! So I'm gonna just fucking start sending it they, in every way. They're gonna end up because <laughs> somebody has to pick them up at the end of the day to charge them. Yeah. Meaning somebody has to come by here and physically potentially get them. Right, 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 right. And that's the funniest shit. Right. That's so I'm gonna, take just gonna a keep while. fucking putting all the lime scooters up and down LRH way. Uh -uh. Go ahead. They should, they just say they have to be standing up. Yes, that's right. Not blocking the sidewalk. It's all legit. Hello. 